In this video, we're going to be working on the Xbox One X that was mailed in for a black screen, no display. Big Boss already removed the motherboard, and looking at the motherboard under the microscope, I see a lot of work that was done here. Let's take a look. It's apparent that the person who worked on this attempted to replace the HDMI port, and I can tell by looking at the last pin that you see on the left, the pins are not properly aligned. Look at this, the pin is moving. Pin is moving. We do not know how solid those pins are. I do not want to put any pressure. And look at this. I do not know what this substance is. Is it some type of uh, bad flux? Cheap Chinese flux? I do not know. I do not know what this is. We can start by fixing this HDMI port and we can test to see if the console will turn on. If not, then we can attempt to replace the retimer chip. I just want to put enough solder so I can spread it all over, just like this. I want to soak those pins with enough solder and then we'll just wick off whatever is left the axis like here Okay, everything is solid. Big Boss reassembled the Xbox, so we can test that out. If it doesn't work, then we're gonna go to plan B, which is replace the retimer chip. So, let's see. Looks like it's going to work. 1080p? Awesome. It's working. It's working. So, that was an easy one. Okay, that's it. And we just got another Xbox. The mailman just dropped it in. Customer mailed it like this. And it costs a lot to ship when you mail it like this. Let's read what the customer said. I'm having a constant issue where my Xbox One X flickers to a black screen. For a second, then image reappears. Okay, so the flickering part the flickering part is most likely caused by the retimer chip. A uh, retimer chip can cause flickering, it can cause horizontal lines, it can cause vertical lines, it can cause resolution downgrade or black screen. So Big Boss is going to take this apart and we'll work on the board to see what's going on. The motherboard is out and we're going to go ahead and replace the retimer chip. But the first thing I want to do is check the HDMI port, make sure everything is good.
HDMI port looks good. So let's go ahead and replace the retimer, which is right over here. Retimer chip is out, and we need to clean, prep the board, and solder a new chip back on the board. Okay, that's good enough. Job is done. We're gonna give it to Big Boss to reassemble and try it, and I'll probably keep it on for about 20 minutes. And yes, looks like it's gonna work. And it's working. Great. So we're gonna keep this on for 20 minutes. If all goes good, we're gonna invoice the customer and ship it back. We just finished working on two Xboxes and we have yet another one, an Xbox One S. I do not know where this package is coming from. Yeah. This one is coming from Texas. But, uh, <laughs> First impression, there's a missing HDMI port. 
I think what happened is customer removed the HDMI port from here or whoever worked on this, they removed it from here and they tried to put it here. And uh, that's what I think. So Big Bus is gonna open it and we'll take a look to see what's going on. And the problem with this one, no signal, no video, was playing and the power went out. But when power came back on, I turned on my Xbox and there was no signal video, but the system does turn on. Okay, so why is there a missing HDMI port? We'll see. Okay, and the customer broke. It looks like the customer broke this bottom part here. So I'm currently working on a laptop and recording a video. I do not know when this will be posted. I have a lot of videos in the queue. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video.